Today, Jocelyn and I met at the Mad Hatter Antique Mall in Adamstown. I was looking at these napkin holders because I have a resin napkin holder similar to that flower that I haven't listed in my shop yet. So I was just seeing what they had. This booth is very large and has a wide variety of anything you would want to decorate your home in the mid-century modern style. They even have hot um, pots and pans, and I thought this coffee dispenser was very neat with the design on it. And then above here, they had these plates that reminded me of some plates that I just sold that were made in Italy. Very colorful. Then these lights you have seen in Jocelyn's video, they've added some, lamp, some lamps since the last time we were there. You kind of just want to reach out and touch them because of what they're made from. She was very partial to this one, and you can see why. Very unusual added decoration. And then in the other booth, I noticed this lamp. I like the shade and the musical notes going down the base of the lamp. Here is another booth that we went in. This is an African bird sculpture for, I think, $24, it says. And next to it was a little brown cow creamer. Here you've got a set of six. Yeah, there was a neat discount. shape. Is there a discount? Oh, there's a discount. We, last time we came, this um, extravaganza. Yeah. Those are a neat shape. I like them. I thought they were neat. neat. This is my awesome. found them, cool. and I was like, you know, I just don't know about those. And now I'm like, they're still here. They're meant to be. Maybe it's a sign. So looking around the rest of this booth, they have some nice displays on the wall. They have up on this little shelf to the right, they have a little, they always have little doggies here. So I was seeing what new dogs they have. And then when we were starting to walk up towards the front of the store, this caught my eye, mostly because of the color. Did you want a separate number? Sure. <laughs> Aren't they cute? They're so cute. I love them. They are adorable. Look at them. I wonder what they're made out of. And then a favorite booth of ours to visit is Tommy's booth in this glass punch bowl. Just caught my eye. Look at the colors on that. It's so pretty. And someone bought that when we were checking out. Someone had um, bought that set. So great for them. That was beautiful. So here I'm just giving you a look-see at the middle part of his booth. He has it divided by different colors. This is obviously the blue section. He always has new things. It's always fun to come visit his booth and talk to him. He's so nice. And here he has the carnival glass. And I'm going to go back to that punch bowl just because the colors, look at that, look how pretty it is. This is in the same booth. It's an earth wrap vase for $25. And here are some planters. And here I'm just giving you another look at the rest of his booth. We're all together. See, they're running away. Yeah. And then they're also running away. Yeah, it was just seeing them all together that like triggered something where I'm now obsessed with vegetables with faces. Oh my gosh, I know. Look how happy that is. I know, isn't it great? And this cat in a basket. Sorry for that weird noise. I don't know what happened to my camera. Here are some cookie jars also in the same booth. thinking <laughs> I'm so glad you said it <laughs> it's like if you're on a diet and you're like oh never mind oh boy let's have water <laughs> I like this little telephone oh there's more down here those are really nice ones and I like them Jocelyn and I both like looking at the lady head vases. They're so pretty. 
I once stood in a very, very cold auction to win a lady lady's headpiece. It was worth it. Of course, I like the dogs. So here's some Boston Terriers and Dalmatians and Spaniels and Wiener Dogs and German Shepherds. Very, very, very cute. And then I thought you would enjoy seeing a Christmas display. So we're going to do a slow pan of all of this Christmas display that they have. And the Pixies. Love them. They're fancy shoes. And look at all the Miss Pris. That's what that lady had in Maryland. I forget her name when she did the live with Michael. Yeah. She pulled out every piece from the set. She's like, oh now I have gosh. this. Now I have that. That's I think amazing. she had a replicator. A replicator? Yeah. I've heard of those things. She has Sometimes one, I think. I, wish I, I swear. One of those as well. Look how cute it all is. I bet it smells like fruit in there. Oh, I think you're right. I thought this Lucite World Globe was outstanding. It was $95 or $75. It was a lot of dollars, but so cool looking weird for me I feel like because when you're on the phone for a long time and your ear gets sweaty oh, $350 that's so gross <laughs> this booth had a lot of beautiful pictures Majolica style here's corn there's flour a lot of corn pictures here are some chicken items I like them because they're colorful and there were also some reindeer and Christmas things. And a bunch of lady figurines. And I was looking at this booth and these are Schultz and Dooley. And that's a mini Dooley. I like the look of the, like the big nose on there. Like very cartoony looking, very German looking to me. And that's a countess. She's 25. Then we went and visited a booth that Michael likes to visit when he comes with us. I found some nice things in here before. And this booth person, I don't know if it's a man or a lady, so this booth owner, I guess it's not a booth person, always has it rearranged, always has new things, keeps it fresh. So it's always fun to look around and see what they've added. These doggies are cute. They have sales. So you, if you look for the tags, some of the things have are 50% off. This was a giant shell. This reminds me of my mom because she lives near the ocean. And I thought those were very pretty. And then we continued on. And this is a bowl. It's either Ruin or Ryan Hoffman. It was $60. It was very, very pretty. It was a bird bowl. And then I actually found something. I found this Fitz and Floyd witch's head, and it's a broom handle. And I thought that would be wonderful for my shop. So I got this. Here are some penguins, $5 a piece. And just giving you a look at the rest of this display. There is a clown riding a pig because you might need that. And this vendor, I like how they're using every square inch of this display cabinet. So it's always fun to see what do you see, what's new, what does Jocelyn see, what do I find? A very organized treasure hunt. We had seen that shirt before, so I don't know if they moved it or there's actually two of those shirts. And I'm looking at the orange teapot. Here are some gobel animals. Fork and spoon salt and pepper shaker. Some poodles. Pixies. Pie birds. You name it might be in this case. And some angels. 
and then we finished our trip here by looking at the swan and now we are going to move on to another antique mall we're now at Adamstown Antique Mall the music is a little loud here so you'll probably have to listen to my voice for most of this video this is a booth in the back that always has interesting items so we're looking through that to see what's new here is a really cool running horse figurine. I think it was $85. And I'm always looking for Mary planters. This one was 15, so I just didn't think there was a lot of room left for me to flip that. This is a swan and lady vase. I thought it was pretty, but in $5 was a good price, but I just wasn't sure if it would be appealing to a large variety of people. Here's a black swan for $59, and that glass uh, dog was so cute because one ear was up and one ear was down. And my mom uh, raises bonsai trees, so I always look at the Mad Men. This one was as is, so I left it there. That's cute. Singing in the Rainbow by Icky. Oh, it's Japanese. Oh, it's so cute. And then we also found these wall decorations, little Bo Peep and her two sheep. They had this super cute cookie jar. I like finding piggy banks. So I thought this was a neat looking piggy bank. And it also had some nice dishes next to it. This was a marked Nippon nut bowl. And then I found something that I bought. I bought the vase and I also bought what I'm calling is a trinket dish. It probably most likely held a box of cigarettes. There is some chipping to the rose on the front on the vase, but I thought that was super duper cool. And they go together. You have a set. So I'm just kind of checking them out, check them on out. <laughs> checking them out to see if they are in good shape. And then I'm checking them out these. <laughs> this looked like the open sugar that I got in West Virginia. It's Puritan slipwear. It's not really an open sugar. Mine's missing its lid. That's why I'm looking at those. And then I really like the graphics on this mug. It is marked 1972 and I flip it over and it is Royal Copenhagen and it is $20. Not the year I was born. Maybe if it was the year I was born I'd be mo most likely to get it. Here is a, that, this figurine at the other store. They called that a fox. I swear it's still a rabbit. Here is a booth in the back that is more Asian themed items. Here is a Kokeshi doll. Both of these are $36. Very tall, you can see 14 and a half inches tall. And then this one next to it is $76 and that's 18 inches high. Then I saw that they had a little display cabinet and first I was looking in there and then I realized, hey, this door opens. So I'm looking at the uh, burnished black clay owl whistle and I did get that. It does work. It's tested. And then I saw a little charm and I thought I recorded it, but since my 13 year old camera assistant wasn't with me, um, I didn't record it. So. What it is, I will show it later. It's a charm that's hand-carved wooden charm. That one side is a man's face, and then you flip it over, and then the other side is a girl's face. So I'll show you that at the end of the video. I'm disappointed I didn't film it. There, real quick, that was a sneak peek. So here I'm showing you some other pictures they had in this booth. I love anything Asian themed, Japanese, Chinese, Korean. I'm all for it. I just admire the look, the style. So nice. I found these 
cloisonne dishes. There were two of them. There is a very tiny small chip in one of them. It is shipoyaki. I apologize if I spoke, said that wrong, which is Japanese cloisonne that they don't use the wire. So these are currently for sale in my, my shop. And then I was just checking out the jewelry boxes while Jocelyn was looking at something in a cabinet. So here is a Korean one. Here is a Chinese one. It's mark it's stamped china not written china i know the ones that say that are written china are very old it's chess she loves miniatures and she loves asian things oh, and then that's everything that your mother i does. know you should buy it for i should <laughs> uh-oh With some more things for me to buy. Look. Oh, look, you bought more things. More things. And this was the last booth that we looked at. They had some cute face mugs. So I went in there and looked at the face mugs. This is another booth that rotates their inventory pretty often. There's always something new to see in this booth. And while I was looking around... There's an M.A. Hadley, that green and white cup. While I was looking around, I noticed something that looked like I used to see a lot when I worked in Alaska. I worked in Alaska a couple summers. And sure enough, I picked up this mask and flipped it over, and it was marked Made in Alaska. And then I went to put it back, and I noticed how cool the bowl was. And the bowl is California pottery, and it is Walter William. And so I thought, ooh, that's a really cool looking bowl. And so I picked that up. And here is everything I bought on this trip.